Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I would like to introduce you to my Primaris Impulsor. Uh, this one came in the Combat Patrol of the Black Templars and I have never used it in game. I mean, this tank has never seen a battle, uh, which is quite sad actually, it's kind of sad. Uh, and of course, as I want to play Combat Patrol games in 10th edition because I think that they look quite interesting, I decided to give this guy another life and try to make this my most uh, crazy hobby project until the date and I decided to do some changes. I checked the new datasheet for 10th edition and basically as it has now firing deck 6 and the models inside can shoot the weapons uh, I would like to get rid of this and try to put the multi uh, that also comes in the combat patrol of the Black Templars with this upgrade sprue so, I have uh, some intercessor bodies from the uh, starter sets of uh, 9th edition, so I will use those intercessors to, well, assault intercessor, but it's the same. I will try to have one as a gunner here, and I will try to have some of them sitting in the back, which is going to be more complicated, but I think that it will make this model much cooler, because when you look at the front, it's like, okay, it's a tank, it looks kind of cool, but when you look at the, bank, at the back, it's like kind of quite empty. So I would like to have them here. I'm not sure yet if I want to try to change this uh, weapon because I think that the missiles are, are maybe going to be better or maybe not, I will see. So let's go for it. I think that it's going to be fun. So let's see if uh, we have like a happy ending with this uh, Impulsor. <clears throat> so here we have a closer look to my Impulsor and as you can see the the paint job, um, I don't want to say that it's bad, I just want to say that it could have been done better. And that's something that I will try to fix as well. I will probably try to remove the paint, cover these uh, gaps because they are quite ugly, and try to paint it again nicely. I mean, prime it nicely and then paint it nicely. So I already removed one of the handles of the, of the gun. It's quite close it's quite nice so i will try to remove it if it's possible if not i got okay i will <clears throat> it will be nicer to do it like this and <clears throat> it's quite hard actually the first one came out quite nicely but this one is like not nice. Oh, I already broke it, but it's okay. I can fix it later. <laughs> okay, I used uh, I used a knife, and I, it came out nicely. It was a little bit dangerous. Don't try this at home without the proper tools. I will put it somewhere that I won't forget that it's there. And now this is going to be complicated because, uh, of course. I, will, I don't know, I know that one of them is closed, I know that the other one is like, it has two parts that you can put together, so I don't know exactly which one it is. Maybe it's this one, it, it went out quite, yes, it's this one, because I can see through the thing. It will be much more complicated to open this one, but I will try to do it anyway. And I will try to remove, well, I didn't want to remove that. But it's going to be better to work with the inside. That again, it could be better. And from here, I will. I don't want to break it. I want to see if it will came out nicely or not. I think the answer is no. Well, I will try to take it out. I was very cheap with <laughs> Okay, it's out. Now it should be easier because I can see the join here and the join here, so maybe it can be nice. I will try to start. The, 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 the main issue here is that I don't know where to like pro properly push away. Okay, I with the knife I was able to get inside, but I guess that it should be... So, well, of course I want to remove it, but I don't want to break it. 
I guess that the glue went much better there. Okay, I have to admit that it was much more difficult than I expected to take these two pieces out. As you can see, it was quite damaged. I will try to fix it now. But I'm quite happy because I managed to uh, take these parts of the repulsor I have on this side. So this will allow me to paint the inside a little bit better. And of course, I have this that I will add the missile launchers because I think that it's going to be more, more useful in more type of scenarios. It's not that I will just have uh, the other one because of, also with the firing deck, it's I count that the shooting from the inside will be nice enough and this will add a plus. So it, I, that's why I decided to change it for this one. So now it's the moment to introduce my... <laughs> Let's call them my volunteers to be part of the repulsor. They are quite damaged and quite bad. And if it will be cool if I use them for this project and if they have like a useful life, because I don't see myself like playing with these ones uh, normally. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. For this, I will try to cut the, the leg, uh, leaving the rest of the body. And I will just reposition the, the, the legs as much as possible. So let's see how it goes. The project is advancing. I removed the paint from the impulsor. It, it looks weird, but it doesn't have texture. It's more like uh, it's dirty. It's, I think that the, the, the paint got into the, the plastic. I reorganized this. I put this piece that was, there was like one piece of my head here. I decided to remove the shoulders. So. When I attach this torso, I will be able to make it look like it's the legs or the upper body for this Space Marine. And then, of course, I made the Multimate Path from the Upgrade Sprue. And I finally made the, I guess I will call it Rocket Launcher. And, of course, I also removed the paint from my future passengers that I will have to repose and put into the, the Impulsor. And for that, for my first time ever, I'm going to use uh, green stuff. So I hope that it will work well and let's proceed with it. I have to admit that uh, working with uh, green stuff is uh, way much more difficult than I expected, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with the results so far. I mean, this is my impulsor right now. I was able to change the main weapons. This is not attached yet because of course I need space to work here. And I was able to do a little bit of the gunner. Uh, it was a little bit difficult, I have to say. I still need to do the second arm. It's not attached, of course, yet. But for now, it looks kind of nice. I will show it closer now. <clears throat> okay, so here is my my gunner. And I have to say that working with the green stuff was way much more difficult than I expected. As you can see, it has a lot of texture there. And the texture here is not the nicest one because it was way much more difficult than I expected to give it the shape that I wanted. But I think that it's not looking that bad so now i will try to fix this uh, arm here make it a little bit more smooth maybe with a little bit more green stuff who knows and i will try to give this a nicer shape i attach the, the the torso to the to the base i cut the the shoulders that were here and of course i used every piece of uh, whatever that i was finding to cover everything so it won't be noticeable that this is not like a proper body it's just that i add all the stuff that i was uh, finding and of course normal people usually will like start with the ones that are going to be more hidden in the inside and then continue with the the, the ones that are going to be more visible, but no, of course, I'm not like the normal people. So, of course, I'm going to start with the one that is going to be the mo most visible one. And I have uh, one of the volunteers that is starting to get ready. As you can see, what I did was cutting the the legs. This one I didn't have to cut at all because he was like running. So I just had to uh, cut and pull the leg to the front. And as you can see, it also can... It almost can sit nicely there. It needs to be to the side because with the power uh, backpack, it's going to be like too, uh, 
Well, maybe it can be okay, but I think that I will try to have them like this. Maybe it will be nicer to see them. I will decide that later. And of course, I had to cut the, the other leg. It was standing, so I leave, left this part. This one is because when I took him out of the, the face. But I will try to fill that part. And as this one should be here in the back, it shouldn't be visible. But for now, it's okay. I'm happy that they are they are going to fix. Maybe the door is too small, but they can be sitting there. And of course, I already tried and uh, I can close and he's going to be there protected. So it, it's going well. I, I'm quite happy with the results. So let's continue with the the my my impulsor project. Okay, with this one, it's going to be a little bit easier because this one is, of course, all of them are push fit, but this one I didn't glue, so it was quite easy to remove the, the leg. Maybe I will try just to leave it there. How, how was this? I don't really like this. Uh, maybe I will try to leave it like that, only a little bit more open. Oh, I broke it. It's kind of okay. It can be sitting. I just need to remove this leg and... Of course, for that I'm using these ones, and I try to do small cuts. I don't want to cut out, like absolutely everything at the same time because it's also like quite hard. So what I'm going to do is try to remove the leg, respecting this because of course I want this to cover uh, green stuff and everything. I'm sorry, I... Okay, there it goes, leg is out. Let's check. I want to have all of them kind of sitting before I... It. Maybe this one can be here. Maybe this is his boot leg. Maybe he should be sitting here. Oh, I'm going to remove the can. It's not going to be visible anyway, so it's not a problem. Let's remove it as well. Okay, let's try again, and now he fits nicely. I should look for the backpack. Yes, he should feel that nice. It's just that his head is looking to... Oh, perfect. Yeah, he can be there. It's going to be the second one. And of course, I will fix this leg to put it on the other side. And now I have uh, this guy that... Oh, see, this is nice because his like, nicer leg is this one. So I will do the same. I will put this guy here. I wanted to have at least two here, but I will see how it goes. Maybe we will try to have three there and one here. I will see. Let's, uh, let's continue. Let's continue. I will do the same. I will... Cut the the leg here under the this piece of armor, and this one remove it completely. And of course, what I do with uh, these ones is just that I I cut everything above the knee because, of course, what you're going to see later is the, the knee mostly. So what I do is. Um, and this is the interesting... Well, I will have to cut this part as well, of course. As I said, these were the push fit models that I was going to use. And I will have to correct the, the pose of the leg because he was like running, so I will have to uh, fix this now. And later my plan is to attach it here, so it's kind of okay. I will leave the leg here. And I will do the, the same with this one, and I have another one over there, so I will try to do the same as well.
Okay, this is funny because everything that you saw until now in this video was recorded before the launch of Leviathan and everything that you're seeing from this point is after Leviathan. So this, let's say that Leviathan took me in the middle of this project, but I still wanted to finish this one before I started to get into Leviathan because if not, I will forget this for a long time. And okay, the updates. I didn't know that this was not going to be able to be used in combat patrol for the Black Templars because those rules came after I started doing this but it's okay because I can just not glue it and it will be able to be there and yes, I said before in the video that I didn't need to clean everything too perfectly but yes, I should clean it more nicely but the product that I was using was over so I had to wait and I already have more I'm not going to show that because I already showed that in a video doing my lieutenant how I clean the, the paint so I will leave that video in the description for sure and I still need to add the other arm to this guy because of course he needs another one uh, and then the, the guys that will be in this transport I have uh, this one for the back as I said I just cut the, the, the legs and reposition them nicely to look like he's sitting. It has a, like a weird sitting pose, but because of the this, because of this, I have trouble with uh, sitting them here. Uh, I decided to give him this uh, arm that uh, it's uh, in the intercessor's kit, and this one is in the uh, assault intercessor's kit. So this one should be sitting here. Oh, Yes, there. And then I have uh, this guy that I will probably make like a sergeant or something. I gave him this pointing arm that I rescued from the intercessor's kit as well. I should clean it as well. It looks kind of too dirty. And of course, the same. I reposition the, the leg to be to look like he's sitting. I want to remove this and I will give him <clears throat> another uh, folder that they have uh, there <clears throat> so this one I want him to be here pointing and then we have I have this guy that again I did the same I repositioned the, the leg and with this one I cut it and I just uh, give it this kind of posing of a sitting pose and this one should be here and it looks like I have a uh, place for another one, but I'm not going to add another one because uh, it's going to be too crowded. And uh, when you look at it, I will try to hold it like this. Uh, once I add the arms to the other two guys in the front, there won't be too much space and they are going to be too uh, tight in there. So I kind of prefer to leave it like this. It will be... I think nicer, it, it will look more clean because, uh, I don't know, I, I can try to add one and see how it will be but I'm not too optimistic about it so, with and with this going here, it, it will be like, why should I add another one, I guess but anyway, let's uh, continue Okay, let, let's try to see if uh, one more will fit. So let's use this one, that it was one of the volunteers. So I cut the, the folder of the Ganos already. It's moving. It moved. Now it's almost sitting. I should cut a little bit more of here. So let's try if uh, another one will fit before doing more things. It fell to the floor. Okay. So this one will be here, this one will be here. And if I add another one, well, it kind of looks like he should be able to fit. But my problem is that I should ha like add him arms and maybe that will make things complicated and I have to check if I 
they are dancing in that. I have to check if uh, I should be able to close it. Yes, I should be able to close it. Yes. Okay, yes, I will add one more. <laughs> but as you can see, there's uh, there's not much space for arms or such. So I should try to be creative. So this one aside, I will try to finish this guy right now. And for him, I have uh, this arm. Uh, again, this is the uh, plasma pistol option for the starter kit of the assault intercessors. So my idea is to cut the, the plasma pistol, of course. And then, as you can see, it has this opening here. I want to remove this inside part. Because right now, when I put it to him, he's to out and if I remove that part I want to check if I will be able to uh, put it to the inside and it will kinda look like he's holding the gun with the uh, hand so let's try to do that and see if it will fit nicely Okay, with that removed, as you can see, am I able to move it closer? Yes, I should be able to move it closer, but I will get a gap here. I don't think that this one should have like this, uh, let's say backpack, power pack, I don't know how to call it. Because of course, if he had that, how he will be going out from the from the what's the name of this this kind of window i <laughs> upper window bent i don't know how to call it anyway uh, if i do it like this i should probably add some kind of uh, green stuff again so it's okay it's not a big deal and now let's uh, remove the the gun of course i should oh i'm so sorry i like plasma pistols I'm so sad. I'm so sorry, plasma pistol. Okay. And there you go. And of course, I should remove the handle. This is going to be very tricky. Okay, handle removed, so now I should kind of be able to, no, it's not fitting as nicely as I would like to. So I will have to remove a little bit more from here. And And now, almost perfect, almost, almost. Of course, because I didn't uh, see, I left that. And that should be there. Nice. Oh, now, now it fits beautiful. Beautiful. But of course I need to remove more. So, okay, I'm going to cut this. I will add the green stuff. I will probably show the green stuff on camera. And then I will clean a little bit more the, the other guys. And let's continue with this. In the end with the arm, I had to do another cut here to be able to turn the elbow. Because uh, no matter what I did, I will need to remove the whole shoulder pad and I wanted to keep it, so I decided to do this small cut. And like this, I'm able to hold the gun and it's not going to be that uh, weird, especially if I can glue it nicely. So I will glue it now and see how it looks. 
Okay, as I already mentioned, I will also remove this. Okay, I try to be gentle, but sometimes I'm not that uh, gentle. And I will try to add this one here that it will look uh, better. I removed too much here, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered, hopefully. A little. Okay, let's add it. And there we go. Much better, and it should fit here. I'm already planning how to settle them up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm planning now. This one is uh, when going to here. So for him, I have special loadout. I rescued uh, this one that I had over there and I think that it's very nice because it has this uh, relaxed pose Okay, this one is very nice because it has this relaxed pose and this one it's the plastic change color because I add something too strong to remove the plastic first time and now I cannot even remove the, the shoulder pad or anything uh, so it will need to be like this hopefully when I prime the miniature it shouldn't be that noticeable and it should look kind of okay -ish. okay I have to As these are like the recovered uh, miniatures and they are quite devastated the plastic is not melting nicely and uh, I have a lot of troubles with, uh, with the glue okay let's uh, I will make this one and continue i really wanted to have like four so it will look more filled but as you can see when i put the arms and such it's like too they are too tight inside and there's nothing that i can do about it not with the pieces that i have because i wanted these ones to be like together like this <clears throat> uh, this one i like him and he should be there and this will be the new one as, as you can see it's like too tight so I cannot have something too nice, so I would have to take him out and try to maybe fill this space with uh, something, but I don't know with what. Because as I mentioned, there's not much else to for me to work with here. And I think that it's better to be like this. And anyway, most of the time they will probably cover, so it's not going to be that noticeable. So it's okay. I have uh, almost this guy ready, I just need a little bit of green stuff there and I move this arm a little bit to fit this one and it looks quite nice so I will need to put a little bit of green stuff there as well so aside from that everything is uh, looking nice yes quite nice quite nice so now I will add the green stuff in these gaps and I will show how it's looking right now Okay, last update before I prime everything with Chaos Black and hopefully it will look much better because uh, uh, yeah, I damaged the plastic uh, too much, it's uh, too weird right now, so uh, hopefully after priming it, it should be nice. I have the gunner finished, I like how he looks, so he should be here. This should be here, and then I have the, the passengers that I, they are high. 
have uh, this guy that again he looks the worst hopefully after priming it it should be look looking nicer this one should be go should be here then we have uh, this guy plasma pistol looking at the this I, I i need to clean this a little bit better i will do it for sure before priming it but as i need to wait for the green stuff to try properly i will do it uh, tomorrow so and then I have uh, this guy that it should be something similar to a sergeant, I guess. And he will be here. And if I'm able to, I would like to have him have like that touching the other, like pointed at something. And then, of course, this one that I will probably not glue it and just put it here to put it in and out. So this will be. I will try to do another look right now. Okay, so this is my primed impulsor and as you can see it looks much more better, it looks more clean because earlier it has that, like a lot of texture, a lot of different things and it looked quite bad. Uh, you can see that I already had the, the, the gunner to the top, I have the different pieces there. Uh, this is not going to be glued. There, there's nothing glued to be honest because I want to paint the Space Marines separately from the impulsor and I will have these two guys that will have a pose similar to that like one touching and pointing to the other and the other one like looking like getting ready to get out of the transport and go to some position or something i'm not sure uh, but uh, they are like uh, doing something interacting with the surroundings and uh, that's it i mean i have the, the passengers painted but still not uh, finished of course or glued to the to the impulsor because i want to do them separately and I'm quite happy with the results. I'm, I think that it, it looks already much more, <laughs> with a lot more of personality than it used to look. And now it will be the time to proceed and paint my impulsor and see how it will look in the end. But that's something that I will do for my next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this or if you are still here, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. Thank you very much again and see you next time.